This is a short video for A-Level and IB Psychology, talking about the skill of ranking data for inferential statistical tests. Several of the inferential statistical tests require you to be able to rank data, including Spearman's Rank, Will Coxon and Man Whitney U. What we're going to do is talk through each of these three different inferential statistics and talk about how to rank the data. For Spearman's Rank, each set of data needs to be ranked separately. We have a pre-treatment group and a post-treatment group. To rank the data, you simply have to look at the score for each group and rank it within itself. So, for example, this person scored one and this person scored one. They can't both have the score of one, but they take the positions one and two. Therefore, they have to take the middle position, which would be 1.5. The second position is taken by uh, the score of two. So this takes rank three because rank one and two have already gone. The following positions have been filled in. So we've ranked two, and then we had two threes, which would have taken rank four and five, so they take 4.5. Then we have one rank four, which takes rank six, and then five, which takes um, rank seven. Um, and similarly, in the post-treatment group, you can see here that um, we've had to divide position six and seven because we had two scores of six. That's been as rank. For Will Coxon, we need to calculate the difference between two scores by taking one from the other, and then we have to rank the differences. So we've taken six away from eight, seven away from five, etc., etc. So here we go um, with Will Coxon. With Will Coxon, when ranking, we ignore anything that has a difference of zero. So we have one, two, three scores of two, because we ignore the minus and the plus signs for now. So they have to all take rank two, as they would take positions one, two, and three. Uh, for Man Whitney, we have to rank the data as if they were one group. Um, so unlike um, Spearman's rank, where we would keep them separate, they all have to be ranked together. So here we have two scores of one, again, taking positions of one and two, so they both take position 1.5. Uh, there's only one score of two, so that takes rank three, and so on and so forth. So whenever you have scores, which are the same and your ranking, you need to find the middle rank to make sure that they have an even score. So that was a brief overview of how to rank data for inferential statistics, including Spearman's rank, Will Coxon and Man Whitney U.